One of the biggest questions I get when it comes to tiling is, what do I do if my ground is so flat that I don't have any slope in there at all? How am I going to run my tile lines and how am I going to get that water out of my field? What do I do? Well, the other side of that is, what if I'm two or three miles away from my stream or river that's going to eventually take this water? How do I get that water there? And you know what? Sometimes it's not so easy. Where we're at right now, we're kind of in some rolly hills. This field has been tiled, and it was easy because we had the rolling hills yep. to work with. But in the flat ground, tiling doesn't have to be difficult either. Yes, you have to do a nice job, and you may have to go to that extra step of putting in a lift station. Well, what a lift station is, is it's basically a tank of some sort in the ground where the water comes to from the tile lines, and then you have a pump or multiple pumps in there to lift the water up. This is it's exactly like the sump that I've got in my basement. Yep. All my tile lines around my basement walls come right into one spot, and then I pump it out if I get any water in yep. there. Yep, and it's exactly the same thing that we're doing in fields. Those tile lines that are put around the house, they aren't to take all water out of the soil. They're simply to lower the water table around the house so the water doesn't go into the house. So all you need to do is just upscale this thing, upsize it a little bit. <laughs> well, the lines right around my house are going to drain maybe a tenth of an acre or yep. something like that. And if that's all we were trying to drain in a field, well, that's all the pump we would need. But you know, there is a lot of water that's going to come off a field. When you get an inch of water on a whole acre, that's over 27,000 gallons yep. of water. Now, obviously, you're going to get some of that water that's going to soak into the soil and be used. It's going to be used by your crop. It's going to be tied up in your soil. You aren't going to have to get rid of the entire amount. Well, no, the, po the point half of that. Yeah, but the, the point is, if we're, it all depends on what we want for a drainage coefficient. So if we had a one inch drainage coefficient, then our tile lines would be running 2.7 million gallons per day to the end. Of course, a lot of people are only running a half inch drainage coefficient or maybe a third inch drainage coefficient. A third inch is pretty common on our farm, so now we might be down to 900,000 gallons a day. So then what I do is I put my tank in, and the size of the tank doesn't make that much difference. We might put in a septic tank that's 1,000, 2,000 gallons. We might put in a great big culvert, just stick it down in the ground. Uh, I don't care what you use for a tank. What I care about is what are you using for a pump? You've got to have pumps capable of removing the amount of water that you're going to put into that at the maximum flow. Well, the other thing, Brian, that you have to consider is how are you going to power that pump? Is it going to be an yep. electric pump? You know, are you going to use solar power? There are some guys that I know that are using solar power, and that's great during the day. But how long of a charge is that going to hold you know, into the evening? And maybe you're going to need that pump running 24-7 yeah, because... You, you just have to have a lot of batteries, get them charged during the day, and then overnight it drains down the battery. So that certainly can work. But yeah, most guys are running electric lines. Now, you usually don't have to have a great big electric line going to it because generally speaking, we're not talking enormously huge motors. And another way to cut down the size of the one pump is to have multiple pumps. So any lift station will do it's not going to have one pump. It's going to have two pumps. That way, if one happens to shut down, at least we've, we're still running at half capacity. But the other thing about that is then we don't have to spend so much money just on one pump. I can have two pumps that are a little bit cheaper. But again, in total, I need to be able to pump out the maximum amount of water that's going to go to that lift station. Now, we need to keep in mind what we're doing here. And I know anytime we talk tiling, there are a lot of misconceptions out there. We're just trying to manage the water table and keep that water table lower than the roots that we've got growing. So our crop roots need to go down a couple of feet. We need to make sure that water table is probably at least three feet down. This way we can still get good root growth, maximum crop production in our fields. And in these flat lying areas where you don't have a lot of natural drainage, this is more important than anywhere else to manage that water table. Yep, and in those flat areas, you can actually create your own slope. So in our fields, we might end a tile line at two feet or start it at two feet, however you want to look at that, and then run it down to six feet. So we created four foot of slope in a particular field. So we go down to that six foot depth and that's where it would drop into the lift station. Then we pump it back up above ground and then we can run it into a river. The other big thing that I would say is people get worried when they haven't dealt with lift stations before. It's not that complicated. You've run motors before, you've run pumps before. There's nothing to it. You just put a tank in the ground, you put a pump in it and you pump some water out. It's no big deal. It's just that we're <laughs> dealing with a lot of gallons maybe but it's a relatively simple process. But it is very, very important. Again, on this flat ground, 
this is how you get good drainage. Well, if you're interested in seeing lift stations firsthand, I'm sure there are some in your area. Otherwise, you can come to our farm. We've got our big summer field day, Friday, July 22nd. You could, quite frankly, visit our farm anytime and we can show you a lift station. It, again, it's a relatively simple thing. You just put a tank or something in the ground that's gonna hold some water and one or more pumps to pump that water up and then lift it to wherever you need it to go. Well, one other thing, Brian, with these pumps is if we could just get them to suck the weeds out of our field and pump them right out, that would help tremendously. We'll show you how to control this weed coming up next.